Hi everyone, welcome to Bit of Gaming. Today I'm gonna be playing a game I waited for for quite a long time and that is Phoenix Point. I'm recording it on the day of the release and it's a game, basically a strategic game of XCOM type, you could say. It's also developed by one of the creators of the original XCOM UFO defense that I really enjoyed when I was younger in the 90s. So let's jump in. We're going to play, may I, I think, a veteran. It's not a game good for players familiar with strategy genre. I think I'm going to go with the hero. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna play the tutorial. Mm, I've watched a few uh, videos of this on the developers channel, so I should do right. I hope. Hope fully. Enjoy the video first. The Phoenix Project was founded on October twenty fourth, nineteen forty five. The Second War to end all wars was over. But there were those who understood that we could no longer afford to think in terms of nations and empires. For a time, the Phoenix Project successfully navigated the political conflicts of its era. That was our golden age. Phoenix Project operatives scoured the world for clues. We had bases in two dozen countries. Even the heavens were not off limits. But out there, on the far side of the moon, began our downfall. The failure of the Phoenix 2 mission exposed us to our enemies in the UN. Stripped of resources and scattered to the winds, we were reduced to a secret, a memory. When the Pandora virus woke up, we should have been the first line of defense. When huge clouds of mist appeared over the sea, when people started vanishing, we should have figured out what was going on. And when those people started coming back, changed, hostile, alien. We should have been ready to fight, but we failed. The ecosystem started to change, imperceptibly at first, then faster and faster. Three factions arose. Scary. New Jericho, trying to restore order and purity. Sinedrin, hoping to build a world without hierarchies. And the Disciples of Anu, a new syncretic religion dedicated to adaptation and biological change. At war with the world and at odds with each other, these factions cannot find a way forward. Now the mist is returning and armies are rising from the sea. Without the Phoenix Project, humanity will fall. It's time to rise from the ashes. Okay. So let's rise. Uh, I've got... Okay, so... Looks like a standard... I wonder if this is like randomized. Mm, starting place. This is the Geoscape. We've got obviously a day-night cycle. We're in North America right now. So... We can zoom in. This is our uh, starting ship. We've got four people in it. Two assaults, a sniper and a heavy. These are new locations that we're going to visit. And we've got also research. This is the cost we have actually and gains. And since we have four uh, soldiers at the moment, we get minus four to food. With research. We can basically start our basic research. Uh, global mist monitoring system available. Atmospheric analysis. This is the list of all available research. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that started. Let's see our personnel. So this is our heavy. We can train him. We've got 10 points right now. But we're gonna leave them for now. Since we're not sure what we want to do with him. This is not very good for the heavy. Brawler, that's fine. Warcry, that's fine. New class. Boom Blast, that's very nice. Inspire. Uh, 
This is actually pretty good in the late game. We might change him into a healer. Let's see our next. We can also change the names of our characters here, I can see. Okay. This is our sniper. Biochemist, healer and resourceful. That's quite useful. Uh, especially for scavenge missions. Oh, that's nice. So, this is our... Oh, Rambo Von Doom! <laughs> that's a great name. So he's gonna be a perfect uh, assault soldier, because he's got an assault rifle and he can be proficient in them. This is also good. Far sight, not very useful for us. Dash, it's return and return fire, that's really powerful. Those are really powerful skills and this one's gonna be actually a very good sniper also so we might want to do I don't know we can we're gonna do class him and make him basically our our sniper and with those skills he's gonna be killing everything I think okay uh, so this is our squad. We've got Oliver, James, David, and Rambo. <laughs> okay, those are. This is our base. So we've got power consumption. So we can. That means we've still got few spaces left, so we can build a few more mm, uh, rooms here. What can we build right now? We've got medical base, so we can uh, heal our units. We've got vehicle bay, of course, living quarters. Energy generator, we've got store, fabrication, satellite oven. I wonder what buildings we can build right now. Only one research lab. Okay, satellite uplink we have, energy generator we have, living quarters, store, access lift, fabrication plant, training facility. That could be actually useful. And food production. Food production would actually probably counter this uh, resource minus we have right now. But I don't think that at the beginning it's going to be really like uh, problematic for us, so... Uh, that shouldn't be a big deal. We're going to go with equipment now. We need to see if our people have uh, proper ammo. Yep. Uh, do we need grenades? Uh, not really at the moment. I think we're not going to waste uh, any grenades at the moment. Uh, we're gonna give everyone a healing item. Oh, maybe not. Those are quite heavy. I didn't see the, the load. So, these guys... Yep. If we find something we can pick up, it's gonna be uh, the encumbrance. Uh, it's gonna be pretty useful. Okay, we've got one research lab, Phoenixopedia. Um, I'm not gonna go through all of this. Let's go back to Geoscape. So we've got our Manticore. Yeah, that's the name. Mm. Two thousand range, durability one hundred, capacity six, speed five hundred. So I presume if it has durability, there's a way for it to be shut down, or maybe some aerial uh, combat. Let's move here first and explore. Let's see what we can find in the site. Oh great! We found the first uh, of the three factions, the Synedrion. The, I think Synedrion. At the Synedrion Haven of Ginsberg, the situation is tense. Someone figured out that our open and democratic society would be easy to infiltrate and steal from. One of the Haven citizens tells our operatives. They pretended to join us and then made off with some critical research, which I assume they want to sell to another faction. The citizen sighs. I said they made off, but the truth is they didn't get very far. In fact, they're stuck in the haven. But as you can imagine, this is a strange situation. These people pretend to be our friends. They lived in Ginsberg for months, all just to make a profit. I suppose old habits die hard. We could assist Synedrion 
with this problem and I think we're gonna do it. This is named Enter Synergion Stage Left. Very theatrical. Stop a group of thieves who have stolen critical research. Let's start mission. We have four people. Uh... Okay, so we've got some empty ready slots, everyone. And I don't care, actually. Uh, maybe we could go with some healing here. Uh, one guy with healing. Maybe the sniper. And the assault, one of the assaults. I hope we're gonna get a lot of equipment maybe from here. So let's deploy the squad. I'm not sure if we can like loot the bodies after the mission because from what I've seen from the bucker builds, uh, you have to loot the dead bodies manually. You're not getting them the equipment that enemies leave. You might get. Oh, I didn't see this animation before. It's pretty nice. Okay. So these are our soldiers. Okay, the blue line indicates where we can move and then still shoot. Okay, so this is a lot uh, quite different from what I remember from the Bucker builds. Okay, I think I need to uh, turn on the mm, free camera. Okay. Uh, okay, no, free camera doesn't help a lot, but I found the keys that I can use. So, the map isn't too big. Okay, so this is not going back, it's just different levels. I don't think our sniper should be the first one to go. I would start with an assault. Let's move it here. Maybe we can find some uh, enemies. Advancing. Still nobody. What if we're gonna move here? Hmm. It's not gonna be in uh, full open, but... We might actually get... Ooh, enemy spotted. A sniper. Ooh, that's bad. It doesn't look like he has a sniper rifle though, so... It's, we've still got quite a big chance. Uh, I don't have enough action points to do an overwatch. Uh, I can give him orders to basically stand. Uh, we can try to shoot him with our heavy. Be right there. Oh, I didn't see that in the uh, bucker builds also. You can also jet jump to other places. But let's start with firing. Confirming target. Whoa, they've got an ugly armors, but as you can see, we're not very... He's quite far away, and this is a huge gun. If we will hit him, he's gonna be dead. But the chances are less than, I would say, 50-50. We're gonna go for the center mass. And we missed. That's not good. Not good for us. For him? Eh. Heading out. Let's see here. Let's see, maybe we would like to shoot him. Uh, there's a chance we might hit his uh, arm and disable it. Okay, we didn't hit, we hit the torso. So, it's risky, but we're gonna try to take him out. 
Also, not... Uh... Let's try to hit the arm. Well, basically, two hits anywhere uh, should kill him. Shoot. We... Uh... We damage the equipment. He's bleeding. Mm. We're gonna move here. And we're gonna stand by. Let's see what the enemy does. Okay, so here's another guy. Also a sniper. This one's bleeding. Ooh, we got hit straight away. That's... Uh, not very good for us. Okay, another sniper. So this looks like a pretty good uh, grenade spot. We've got a sniper probably on top. Whoa! Our soldiers are really uh, getting hit a lot. Now he's moving away. He's hiding. Five enemies. We've got two guys who are uh, basically hurt. We see all of them. Let's see what we can do with the grenade. We can hit these two guys. And yeah, that's nice. They have no cover. And we can move away quite a lot. Or we could actually still uh, like shoot someone. Let's see. We won't kill him. He's got too big of an armor on the torso. We won't kill this one too. We could try to hit the arm. On this guy quite a lot of chance to actually disable his arm or we could try to kill this guy who's got 10 health and is not worth shooting because he's gonna die on the next turn it's still I think he's still got bleeding okay uh... yep it's still got bleeding uh... info it's got 10 health points, 10 uh, bleeding. It's gonna die on the next turn. It's got a Hephaestus. We need that. We need those weapons, basically. That's uh, pretty important for us. Since it's gonna give us some uh, extra equipment. Mm, I think. Okay, we're gonna wait with that guy. Let's see who we can shoot with him. Confirming target. So basically, he can make two shots and kill him. If we're lucky. And I'm gonna actually take that. We got him. The enemies got now a minus to willpower because we killed one of their friends. The lower their willpower is, the bigger chance for us to score, like, uh, to score, for example, uh, maybe not score, but to get the enemies to basically uh, start panicking. Okay, we've got our health cannon guy. Let's see what we can do here. Not, nope. I think this guy is our best chance. Yeah, I might... I might actually lose. <laughs> oh, I like... Yeah, his gun is probably better at close range because... He basically sucks with it. It's not very good. I hope they don't have grenades. Because I'm planning to do something a little bit risky. Oh no, 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 no. I won't move him. Well, I can move him, but... I'm 
I'm gonna lose cover possibility. So I'm gonna move one. Moving to position. Shoot. Acquiring target. The other enemy. Maybe in the head. And we missed! And that's actually very terrible. Let's do this. And let's hide back here. Now we've got this guy. Who's here and not... Uh, Taking aim. He could kill him. I don't see a chance of him killing. I think he's gonna get really it can get really ugly because they're quite our uh, and it's are quite hurt Standing this by. one has 100 health left you know what I'm, I'm gonna go for the uh, for the legs less armor bigger damage hopefully this looks promising. We did quite a lot of damage and yeah, we've still got a med kit. We can use it, I think, twice and it's going to be defeated and we're going to end the turn now. This one died, minus two willpower. But now the enemies are coming down, are going to shoot me. Hopefully not to death uh, head. This guy's coming out, shooting one, two, three, four. So yeah, we need to move that guy away, like straight away. No joke. He can die. He can really die right now. Uh, let's move him here. Looks dangerous. And let's see if our sniper... Yep. We can heal. Action Checking points too. Status. Okay, we're healed. Hopefully fully healed. Nope. He was like almost dead. I mean, oh, actually, he was probably dead. The next turn, he would probably die. Ready to fire. Yeah, uh, let's go here. Seriously, stop shooting the guns. We want those. <laughs> He's gonna die next turn. Okay. Now you, uh, or not, mm, I would like to move you over here. Well, I'm gonna just do, let's see how far we can jump. Oh, we can jump really far. Because I want to shoot that guy next turn with the Hell Cannon. I know how to do it. He's gonna lose some health, but he's got quite a lot of armor. So... That's not bad. No. Okay, so... Apparently... Oh yes, there are still three enemies. That's good. So... That's that. You, go here. Move. I'm going. Is flanked, so we've got quite a lot of chance of. Oh, but I don't want to shoot that guy. That one's almost dead. It's gonna be dead next turn. Okay. Confirming target. Let's see. Maybe we can get one, maybe two pot shots. 
Oh, that's not that bad. We managed to get like some extra damage. And destroyed a little bit of uh, hiding space. So yeah. Mm -hmm. We cannot do anything. Oh no, we can move. Let's move, by all means. Extra cover is cover. Yep. So three down, two to go. We're really losing. Oh, seriously? My turn. He's gonna die. There's no chance of him surviving right now. If he's gonna survive that, we need to do like... Is he dead? No, he's not, but... Close. Close. We're gonna move here. And... Go to... Okay, we've got some equipment here. Nice. Now... We need to like... Get the hell out of here with this guy. Maybe out here. Out of range. Can we like take a pot shot? Okay, I'm... Gonna wait with this one. I'm gonna take this guy. I see you! Yeah. Let's see. Can we hit him in the head? Nope! Gosh darn it. We didn't even destroy... No, we destroyed a little bit of here. It's really neat because it's like some kind of glass. You can see that all glass shattered is just a hole in the middle. I wonder, is it... It's not safe for me to move so close. But I'm gonna do it one way or the other. It's not like... Well... There's a big chance we're gonna die, so... Still got my sniper. Oh, I still got this guy who needs healing. What's our plan? Okay. Oh, I'm out of healing. Ready, issue. You run the hell away from here. Move now. We've got two turns before he dies. And I need to kill this one. As close as I can move. And I'm gonna shoot. And hopefully Target. kill the bastard. Oh, gosh darn it. It's not a 100% perfect shot. Well, we managed to kill him. And that's enough for me. We managed to kill him. So happy about it. Double time. Yep. That guy is hiding. That's great. Can we move more? Advancing. Is there anything here? Nope. It looks like not all enemies drop equipment. Move here, hide. Straight line. 
if he won't hit now. Yep, that guy's dead. He did drop something. Mission complete, special mission. So we've got one level up, one very injured person, our champion. And we've got extra skill points. So this goes to our basic skill points uh, that we can spend on all of our soldiers. Let's go back to Geoscape. Oh, I was. <laughs> that was quite hard. Hi there. My name is Athena, and I'd like to thank you on behalf of Synedrion as a whole. You know, outsiders sometimes think of Synedrion as a bunch of naive, helpless people living in a big bubble. And I know we can appear that way, but the truth is. We are more like a powder keg. Trying to build a truly democratic society without hierarchies involves a lot of arguing. The terraformers want one thing, the polyphonic tendency another. Zara clashes with Nikolai, Stas tries to keep everyone calm, every haven has a totally different set of priorities, and then something like this happens. Okay. I'm being honest about our flaws, because I think, crazily enough, the whole thing works. We've built something remarkable, given everything we've been through, and the Phoenix Project could help us really make a difference on this wretched planet. Think about it, please. We have a lot in common, and here's your payment. We believe in people being rewarded for their labor. Yeah, I'm gonna take the payment. We need everything at the beginning. Thank you. You're welcome. I hope we can work together again. So we've got 200 tech. Resources are always useful. So as you can see, our soldiers are not in a very good shape, I think. I don't see it. I honestly can't see. At all. Okay, so this is something we managed to snack from there. Let's go for training, see. So he has no uh, soldier skill points. So, nope. Nope. Here we have one. So, extra willpower. Extra speed. And we're gonna go with dash. Move to a target position within half of the normal movement range. This is really powerful. The more willpower you have, the more you can move. Combine it with rapid clearance. And... Mm -hmm. That can be really, really good. Ready for action, also great for it, because you can basically run around if you have high willpower, get extra points for killing, action points, do dashes, and be ready for action, so when you run out of ammo, you can just basically reload, no problem there. Okay, we're gonna go for extra speed, I think, as I find it uh, pretty useful. Okay, so that's our personnel. I will go uh, move back to base, see... Okay, we can reverse engineer the fastest too. That's actually pretty useful. Uh, we're gonna s wait for that. Research complete. Okay. Atmospheric analysis. Reprogramming of our satellite systems has revealed the extent of the new mist outbreak. The origin sites are in coastal sea regions as in the previous two incursions, but the activity level seems higher 
posing a serious threat to remaining life on Earth. Heavens caught within the mist will be at risk of attack, so we should explore mist-covered regions thoroughly and defend any havens trapped within them. Our geoscape monitoring system have been updated with current mist coverage. And we've got new research available. available sorry. So this is it. Mm, here. And we've got some mist in Asia. Australia seems safe. Europe seems safe. Okay. So this place is covered in the mist, so I would go there really like next thing. We can do Phoenix Archives. We have discovered a batch of encrypted files on the mainframe of the newly reclaimed Phoenix base. According to the final, these are the Phoenix Archives or what remains of them. We've got Heaven Recruit, so we can recruit soldiers from Havens. Synergion, an arc anarchist organization without leaders dedicated to new technologies and freedom of thought. Synergion aims to find a way to coexist with the new ecosystem. And we've got Synergion pistols we can reverse engineer. That's gonna be useful later probably. But I would like to get the Haven recruitment protocols and get extra people as soon as possible. Okay. Okay, so this is health, health. This guy is like almost dead. Oh god. Almost dead. Okay, so it seems... Okay, so if we have ammo, this replenished straight away. He's got another healing item. I think two healing items are the way to go, definitely. Mm-hmm, okay. We need to wait a little bit, I might like... Uh, you know, go through with it a little bit faster. We've got Haven recruitment protocols. We have created a set of biometric and psych evaluation tests in order to identify potential recruits. We need to locate Havens with leaders favorable to our cause and to barter any resources they want in order to secure our recruitment choices. It will probably be cheaper and easier for us to get recruits from Havens with higher populations. Okay, so Haven Info, we can see um, they've got a training center here and they've got Jiri Horvais Svek and we, can we could recruit him, but actually we don't have uh, enough food. So as soon as we're healed... Wait, oh, I didn't do, because I, I can line up more um, research to go one after another, and I forgot to do it, and wasted like, what, two days? Research complete. We can now trade resources with the Havens, so I'll let you read it at your time. And we're gonna move to unexplored areas. And we're gonna slow down a little bit. Explore. Let's see what we can find here. Okay. Medium threat level. It's night time. But... And we've got the mist zone. This might be a, re be a really short uh, campaign. <laughs> What we've got, we can deploy the squad. Let's kill some aliens. The armor level of body parts will prevent that much damage affecting hit points. A damage value of 50 against armor of 20 will result in 30 hit points loss. Yeah, but if the armor is completely shattered, then there's nothing you can do about it. 
So early in the game, grenades like look like the way to go. If there's a bunch of enemies, basically everything we can get is going to be useful. We need resources, no matter how difficult it is. We're going to have to do it sooner or later. It doesn't matter. Uh, we just need to be more... I think we're going to have to go just simply more defensive way. Be right there. Be right there. No enemies so far. Yeah, I'm gonna stand by with him. Okay, come on move. here. This is one resource cache. Here's another one, here's another one. There's another one. So this place looks kind of big. There's another resource cache. This is another resource cache. Can I like zoom out or something? Here's a spawning point, spawning point, spawning point. We need to secure as oh, and this is an equipment cache here and here. Those two are very valuable, actually. So. Moving to coordinates. Okay, we don't see anyone. Where were those resources? Equipment. Where was the equipment? Oh, it was here. Do I dare? Either. You live only once. I shouldn't have like put him on that. Let's move, move, move. People. Okay, Pandoran activity. We might actually so okay. So we've got a pink. They've got grenades. Uh, we only saw one so far, so I presume if it's there, it might be good to go inside. Do I have enough movement? No. Be here and then here and maybe here. Or go here, see what's inside. Yeah, surprise, surprise, we might find something useful. Hopefully we will. We've got extra ammo. That's great. And we can move here. Now we're gonna use our second guy to ping point the enemy location maybe a little bit better. I'm gonna move you actually. Hmm. I think I'm gonna move you here. Let's see if there's anything in there. We need to remember not to keep our people too close to each other. Yeah. Um, um, um. I think I'm gonna jump all the way here. Oh wait, we can jump down there. I would like to actually jump here. That would be great, but we can't get that far. Action points. So wait, we can we need three action points for that. Let's move here and see if now we can jump there. Yep. And it's pretty well protected. 
we use a little bit of willpower for this. Oh, I have dash. I forgot about it. Yeah, not very good of me. Yeah. Do we want to go here or here or do we want to go like really, really far here? I'm going to go here. We're very like, is this the guy with the dash? Nope, this is our guy with the dash. Can I still use? It costs four will points. Whoa, that's quite expensive. But it wouldn't still get us uh, near where we wanted to go. So... I'm actually gonna move here. Here we go. Okay. So it's throwing another grenade. It can probably maybe run. No, it can run two grenades. And one resource cache is destroyed. Oh, we've got another one. Also with a grenade and a pincer arm. So. We cannot shoot him, right? Okay. Can you shoot him? Please? Pretty please? Okay. Confirming target. Uh, let's go for the arm. Nice! One shot, one kill. Perfect. The way we like it. I want to see one thing. No, he doesn't have enough room. This guy could actually go here. Move. Uh, wait, what? Okay, extra ammo is always extra ammo. Move here. I'm gonna move you here, actually. Be right there. Don't see any enemies still. I'm gonna move you here. Good cover. Whoa! Uh, I didn't expect to see this guy so early on, but yeah, it was. It did say it's a medium threat. So this is a Triton, I think. Yes, a Triton, and he's got a Gauss handgun from Jericho. 180 hit points, 18 willpower, because he lost two during Kenzie's He's got a regeneration. And his weapon attacks are silent. He can regenerate a lot of health points. So we're actually going to back up. I'm on the move. Oh, we spot another one. No, no chance. Where would we have to get? To get like, uh, there's no wind, there are no windows here. So if we would go here, we could probably attack this guy next turn. But we would be quite exposed. Can we go upstairs? Yes. If we would go here, this could be quite a good vantage point for a sniper to start molding the enemies next turn okay this is where we're gonna go move here okay we'll see i might be mumbling because i'm actually <laughs> pretty scared i'm gonna lose like on my first episode of my uh, great soldiers like i almost did in the previous uh, fight so there's two more guys here. 
Yeah, you can shoot him. Good luck with that, he's got the vantage point. We need to start killing this guy. Because... Uh... Nope, don't, 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 don't. Info. 240 hit points. That's quite a lot. Can you see it? Nope. But we can try. No, it's right behind there. So we can try to hit the, this guy or this guy. Oh no, no chance. We're gonna even try that. This one looks. I wonder. If we will hit this guy this turn, we need to kill him. Oh, not happening. Move here. A bit more cover is always good. Can we hit his head? Now we go for the head. Or we can try to start killing this guy. It will take us a few turns, but he can produce the mist. Ninety damage. I'm gonna change the tree. Ready to fire. And shoot again. But it's like his head doesn't want to die. Okay, let's dash forward. So I've got a few will points. Oh, we can shoot twice. Gotta keep on pushing. Yes. And I think I want to kill him this turn. We got a big chance of killing him. Is his head like indestructible or something? Yes, he's dead. Nice. Whew. That's quite a lot, actually. Uh, we achieved right now. Will we be able to actually do anything? Go here or go here. Shoot once and hide taking aim let's try to get a spencer if we can destroy his spencer ah uh, we didn't destroy his spencer so let's hide This guy's gonna lob a grenade at us, probably. No! Oh, crap! That's... Okay, one's destroyed here, so we know there's one guy over there. And this guy. Love this grenade at our hell cannon guy. So we're kind of in a pinch here. Hell cannon guy. Seriously, you cannot see anyone. You've got like two people over there. Oh. 
Oh crap. No 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 no. Terrible and I mean we're in a very terrible position right now because wherever we're gonna move oh no 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 we can move here I'm gonna see these guys now No come on If you're gonna hit him through here Man, you're the boss if you're gonna hit him. You're the boss. Please hit him. Please be the boss. Thank you. Thank you. You hit him. You're the boss. <laughs> you're the best. On my way. <sighs> okay. Can we actually do anything with you right now? Not much. You, you need to like... All I need is a clear shot. We've got a chance to kill him? Uh... And I would say quite a big one. Nice! Successful. Very nice. And again, kill him. Yes, beautiful is that. Ah, oh, dead enemies. Something I really, really like. I'm gonna go here. He's probably gonna get like a grenade or something. We're gonna go here. So if our little friend here moves, we have a chance of actually shooting him. And since we know there's one guy over here. Ryder. I'm going to move you really, really far. Like maybe here. Repositioning. Prioritizing speed. Yep, prioritizing speed. That's really good. And shoot, shoot, shoot. And his head is disabled. Nice. I would say beautiful. I must say that was actually pretty beautiful. So hopefully you can like what? Kill him now? Shoot him in the leg. It's not very armored. Okay, I still need one more thing to see. You've got quite a lot of room left, so we need you to go here. Uh, preferably as soon as possible. And I would like you to move over here. Because we still got, still got one enemy. Over there. Here he is. Info. Grenade. And pincer. He's got no wool points. So that's a good thing. Can we see him from here? Yes, we can. Can we see him from here? I want to send him where he's gonna have a good shot, but also will have uh, cover. Preferably be good cover, but this is the best we can do. It appears I was gonna go. I would go here maybe. Nope, here. Oh wait, inventory. I just want to check one thing, because maybe we can do like... Wait, two. Okay. What if we can jump you here? Right here. 
minus two willpower. Nope. He didn't leave the weapon. That's so sad. Uh, okay. Mm, I would go with standby. 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 Here's our enemy. Did he see it? Yep. He definitely saw us. And... Quite a bad position. Uh, let's shoot him in the legs. Bleeding 100 damage. Can he shoot him? Nope. The weapon is too damaged or even destroyed. That's that's not good. We need to get you out of there. Uh, here, can, will we be able still to heal you? I would prefer to heal you first. Okay, can you heal yourself? This medkit. That's nice. Mm -hmm. And now what? Dash away. Yeah. Rambo Highlander Van Doom. Please run away, you've got no weapons. It looks dangerous. Just don't die. Can we maybe like finish him off? Nope. There's no point in trying even. Uh, I'm gonna go here. Move you here. There's a chance you're gonna actually, I don't know, like, see him. Yep. Mm. You were gonna move here. And. Maybe like that. Uh, now. I'm not gonna do it. Um, but I'm gonna move here. So maybe on the next turn, I will be able to like. He did get a lot of damage. Our sniper can still see him. Pretty well. Oh, the sniper got him. Okay, we survived another fight. Oh, we actually did manage to find some interesting enemies. Oh, great. Level ups all the way. And three extra skill points. They destroyed three crates. It's not very good. But we still managed to get some. We'll get probably four points. If they wouldn't destroy three crates, but it's not easy. And we managed to recover a few items, some uh, ammo, resources. Oh, the, the resources are wonderful. Look at these guys. I think there's one more thing we can do here. We can do an area scan. Now we can do autopsies. Mm. But I think we should start with the Phoenix Archives and see what's going on. Then we can start uh, doing maybe some autopsies, maybe start with the Mist Sentinel. And I would try to see what we can manufacture, maybe some equipment. Maybe there's something we can actually create at the moment I don't see anything. We can make a scarab, but it's not something we can do right now. 
Okay. Mm. So, this is the first episode. This is Phoenix Point. Uh, very interesting and wonderful game. This is gonna. This is where we're gonna finish the first episode, and we're gonna start from here fresh tomorrow. Thank you all very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Bye-bye.